You know, here in the month of September, the weather can get really, really quiet. And we've had that really for the last week or so, especially this past weekend. But Mother Nature is offering us up some interesting things here over the next week. Right now, it's the wildfire smoke that has overspread our skies, making for the hazy conditions that we have right now across the area. We don't have any wet weather in the area. In fact, we don't have any wet weather in the region. As we look off to the west, this is uh, basically a forecast of, of smoke, where it is right now, and where it will go over the next 24 hours. And it's a thin veil of smoke, but it does cover most of the area, and it looks like it's going to continue to cover most of the area tonight and tomorrow. It may thin out some here across northern Arkansas, but uh, I think for areas north of Highway 60, we're still going to find quite a bit in the way of haziness. So we're going to have the wildfire smoke in our skies again tomorrow. Meanwhile, down to the south in the western Gulf, we've got a developing tropical system. This is a strengthening tropical storm. Francine winds now up to 65 miles per hour. It's moving very slowly to the north northwest at seven miles per hour. It is expected to strengthen over the next couple of days uh, as it makes its way toward the Louisiana coastline on Wednesday. More on Francine here in just a bit. Let's talk about what's going on locally. Again, a very quiet weather pattern at the surface. We have high pressure located near St. Louis. We've got this steady flow of dry air flowing in across the area. Uh, dew points are very low. And they're going to continue to remain low through tonight and tomorrow, although there'll be a little bit of an uptick in humidity during the day on Tuesday. I don't know that you're really going to be able to detect it, though. With the dry conditions overnight tonight, with the clear skies, with the light winds, temperatures will once again dip into the upper 40s and low 50s. Tomorrow, uh, the haziness will have an impact on just how warm highs can be at this stage. I've gone ahead and maybe knocked a degree off of where I think we could be because of that smoke that I expect to be in our skies. Looks like about 83 or 84 in, in much of southern Missouri. Now, as you get over toward Joplin, about 88 for the high. Looks like mid 80s to the south across northern Arkansas. Tomorrow night, not as cool, but still pleasant. 60 for the low. And then on Wednesday, it looks like mid to upper 80s generally for highs across the area. Now, what about this tropical system? Well, Francine is expected to strengthen through Tuesday and Wednesday, arriving on the Louisiana coastline Wednesday afternoon as potentially a 100 mile per hour hurricane. And then from there, tracking up the Mississippi River making its way into northeastern Arkansas, weakening to a tropical depression as it moves into northeast Arkansas, and then it will sit in our area. And the reason why it looks like it may sit in our area late this week into this upcoming weekend is there may be a blocking ridge of high pressure to the north and northeast that, at least for a time, won't allow Francine to move to the north. Uh, that blocking ridge will also have an impact on the exact track of the system and where rain falls. Right now at this stage, it looks like a lot of the area could see some rain, especially east of Highway 65. And if that track is a bit further west, then we could see some rain impacts further west, closer to I-49. Temperatures also will take a hit. It looks like we go from 87 on Wednesday to highs in the 70s on Friday. Steve? Okay, Jamie. People in